Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see a problem on analytic function. A problem is find the analytic function f of z is equal to u plus iv given u minus v equal to e raised to x into cos of y minus sin y. Solution. So here they have given u minus v. So that part we have, uh, will take as it is. So u minus v is equal to e raised to x into cos y minus sin y. You can observe here u is a real part and v is a imaginary part. To get an analytic function either want we want u purely or v purely. So for that so here we will go forward here uh, one of the steps so that we can eliminate either u or v. So let's see here. So for such kind of uh, expressions, so we have to differentiate with respect to x as well as y partially. So differentiate, differentiate with respect to x and y partially. So once you differentiate with respect to x and y partially, so we will get uh, easy. Uh, steps to simplify this. So if you differentiate u with first we will differentiate with respect to x. So if you differentiate with respect to x partially so u will become ux minus v will become vx equal to right hand side. So we have to go for uh, you can see the bracket term is purely constant so that uh, in differentiation of e raised to x is e raised to x into this complete bracket which is a constant that is cos of y minus sin of y. Because cos y sin minus sin y is a constant. So constant into differentiation of e raised to x is e raised to x. Now again we will go for the differentiation with respect to y partially now. That is u y minus v y equal to. So here e raised to x is a constant. Keep as it is. So partial derivative of cos y minus sin y we have to go. So partial derivative of cos y with respect to y partial is minus sin y this minus as it is and uh, partial derivative of sin y with respect to y is cos y. Now we will uh, give this uh, partial derivative with respect to x I will give equation number 1 but 2 I need to change it because if you want to use simultaneous uh, different uh, equation so I need uh, ux and here also I need ux and uh, here we if you vx is there we also we needed here vx but we have opposite. So to change this uy and vy we will uh, take the help of CR equation. So using using CR equation I will give equation 2 only here using CR equation that is CR equation for left hand side of equation 2 that is CR equation is u y is going to be changed as v x and this v y will going to be changed as u x. So we know that ux is nothing but vy and uy is nothing but vx. So this formula already we have seen as a CR equation. So that same part will apply in equation number 2. So therefore our equation 2 becomes 2 becomes uy. uy will become minus vx minus uvy will become ux and right hand side as it is that is e raised to x into minus sin y minus cos y. I will give this as equation number 3. Now, we will go for the simplification now. So, now 1 plus 3 we get will 1 plus 3 will get one answer and 1 minus 3 also will go for that. So we will see here. So 1 is ux vx minus vx is equal to. So left hand side 
ux minus vx and the left hand side of 3 is so this is minus only so minus vx minus ux is equal to so right hand side of 1 you open the bracket and write e raised to x into cos y so minus times e raised to x into sin y and similarly right hand side of 3 so we have plus sign so e raised to x into minus so it will become minus times e raised to x into sin y and plus into minus is minus again e raised to x into cos of y so therefore you can see here so plus ux minus ux cancel then so we have left minus vx minus vx we have left with minus 2 times vx which is equal to again so e raised to cos y plus e raised to cos y and uh, minus times e raised to x cos y will cancel so minus e raised to x sin y minus e raised to x sin y will become minus 2 times e raised to x into sin of y so therefore on simplification you can observe here so 2 2 minus 2 minus 2 cancels here so we have left vx is equal to e raised to x into sin of y so we are going to find the analytic function so in the f dash of z we got one term that is vx here similarly if you go for 1 minus 3 what we will get we will see here so on 1 minus 3 we get so 1 minus 3 left hand side of 1 is ux minus vx then this sign minus I will put a bracket so left hand side of our equation 3 is so this is the left hand side so minus vx minus ux equal to right hand side of 1 is open the bracket and write e raised to x into cos of y minus e raised to x into sin of y minus I will put a bracket right hand side of our equation 3 is open the bracket and write so minus e raised to x into sin y minus e raised to x into cos of y so on opening the brackets so ux minus vx minus minus plus vx minus minus plus ux equal to e raised to x cos of y minus e raised to x sin of y minus minus plus e raised to x into sin y minus minus plus e raised to x into cos of y so you can observe here which all terms are going to be cancelled so you can observe here so minus vx plus vx cancel ux ux is nothing but 2 times ux equal to again here so minus e raised to x sin y and plus e raised to x sin y cancel so e raised to x cos y e raised to x cos y will be 2 times e raised to x into cos of y so 2 2 cancels so we got ux is equal to e raised to x into cos of y so we got vx ux will go for f dash of z now consider f dash of z is nothing but ux plus i times vx so this standard formula we remember so ux answer we got just now it is nothing but it is e raised to sin y actually ux is e raised to cos of y okay plus i times vx is e raised to x into sin of y so among this you take e raised to x common so we have left with inside cos y plus i times sin y but this e raised uh, cos y plus i sin, sin y is nothing but a uh, complex number of exponent form that is e raised to x as it is so this will become e raised to i y so cos y plus i times sin y is e raised to i y or here basis are same it is e raised to x plus i y but z is nothing but x plus i y so therefore it will become e raised to z 
so f dash of z is nothing but what here e raised to z but we want f of z which is analytic so on integration so on integration so we'll get what here uh, integration of f dash of z is f of z so here right hand side integration of e raised to z dz plus c so integration of e raised to z with respect to z is e raised to z itself plus c so therefore our analytic function is what here e raised to z plus c so this is what here required analytic function